families. I hope you've had an awesome first week of summer. It's been a week already. I see a lot of you guys have been swimming. I see a lot of you have been doing activities at home and playing games with your families and even some of you going to water parks. Now, I love water parks, but there's a lot of things going on at water parks. So anytime you go to a place like that, you're going to see a bunch of rules posted. They're going to be in front of the water slides. They're going to be right when you walk in. You're going to see rules everywhere. Rules are there to help keep us safe, having fun, and not getting injured. Now raise your hands if you are a rule follower. Rules are important to you. Raise your hand. All right, now raise your hand if you do not like rules. <laughs> well, today we are going to be learning about no ordinary rules. We are going to be learning about God's rules for us. We're going to be learning about the 10 commandments. So right now, wherever you are, put your two hands up and give yourself a high five. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now we are not going to play any ordinary game today. We are going to have a dance party and it's to one of the best songs that helps teach us all about the 10 commandments. So I want you guys to take your hands and shake them at your side because we're going to begin our worship service with the 10 commandment boogie. Are y'all ready? And then you guys join me after your Bible story today. We are going to memorize and learn the Ten Commandments using our hands. And adults, if you haven't learned the Ten Commandments or memorized them, this is a great way for you guys to learn too. All right, are you guys ready to have some fun? You ready to learn about God? All right, it's time to worship 3D. So everybody off your feet and let's go. Go my
I'm not here to recreate it Cause all I've got is just a heart that wants to seek your face It's all about to change, I'll never be the same She asked me to follow And when the doubts return, you speak a better word job worshiping this morning you guys have done I'm so proud of you but more importantly our good good father looks down from heaven upon your worshiping faces and is pleased so right now let's encourage ourselves with God's word and speak his word and affirmations over ourselves and our lives it's our sword of the spirit 3d chant time 3d so everybody in neon green, I need you to say those words out loud and start after me. Are y'all ready? All right, 3D, who are we? What do we do? Disciple who? Who are you? What are you? Amen. You all are conquerors in Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for us, for all you're doing in and through us. God, you are awesome. All things were created by God, for God, and everything from Him is good. So we are called to go out and to spread the good news gospel message to the ends of the earth. We are called to love others and to share Jesus with them. The Lord loves a cheerful giver, and whether we are giving a tithe, an offering, or giving God our words by telling others about Jesus, His promise says that we will be blessed. 
Giving a tithe or an offering is a way to not only be obedient to Christ, but to show Him that you trust Him. God's Word is true, and it says in Malachi 3, 10 through 11, that we should bring all our tithes into the storehouse, our church, and it promises that the Lord of hosts will open up the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessing, we will not have enough room to store it. Now who wants that kind of blessing? So during this time to focus on missions and our tithes and offering, may we remind ourselves to be on mission for Christ and to always give faithfully to God, who first gave unto us. Here at 3D, we have a heart for missions and we share the gospel message. Three months after the Israelites left Egypt, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They camped in front of the mountain. God had a plan to make the Israelites his special people. God wanted to make a covenant or agreement with the people of Israel. Moses went up the mountain. God called to him saying, this is what you should tell the Israelites. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I rescued you and brought you to me. If you listen carefully to me and you keep my covenant, you will be my people. Moses went back to the people and told them what God had said. All the people responded together. We will do all that the Lord has spoken. So Moses went back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a thick cloud. I want the people to hear me speak to you so that they will believe you. Moses told the people what God said and he got the people ready for the Lord to come down on the mountain. On the morning of the third day, Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God and they stood at the foot of the mountain. God came down from Mount Sinai in a fire and smoke covered the mountain. The mountain shook and the sound of the trumpet got louder and louder. God said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I freed you from slavery. Then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first four commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a right relationship with God. Do not have other gods besides me. Do not make an idol for yourself. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The last six commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a right relationship with each other. You must honor your father and your mother. You must not murder. You must keep your marriage promises. You must not steal. You must not lie. You must not want what belongs to someone else. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days. God gave Moses many more laws. When God was finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two stone tablets that he had written on with his own finger. God is holy and separate from sin. His law shows us what he requires, perfect righteousness. Our sin separates us from God, but Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is perfectly righteous. When we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and welcomes us into God's family. All right, it is time. We've watched our Bible story. We have learned about Moses and the Ten Commandments, so now it's time. Instead of those Ten Commandments to be written on tablets, we need to write them in our hearts and in our minds. So get your fingers ready. We're gonna use our 10 fingers to learn the 10 commandments. Our first commandment is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse three. Our first commandment tells us, there are no other gods except for me. That's right, we have one God, our heavenly father. So let's do it again. No other gods except for me. All right, second commandment, use your two fingers and we are going to take our two fingers like this because we are not going to make for ourselves an idol. This person, you see it bowing down to the idol, 
There are no other idols. We only worship God. All right, now three fingers. We believe in the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we do not take the Lord's name in vain. That means we only use God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We only talk about those three things in honor. Okay, so we never take the Lord's name in vain. All right, number four. Number four is honor the Sabbath. And on the Sabbath, we are supposed to rest. So let's make a little pillow with our four fingers. And you guys got to remind your parents to rest on the Sabbath. Commandment number four is keep the Sabbath holy. All right, number five, we are going to honor our father and our mother. This is how you say father and mother in sign language. So we're going to honor our father and our mother always. We're always going to obey our parents. All right, we're going to move on to number six. And this one is a tricky one. So this one tells us that we shall not murder. We shall not murder. That means we need to be giving life with our words, being kind, and being loving and kind to others. So take your thumb. You're going to point to yourself. And five. This makes our sixth commandment. And it says, we do not murder. That means we love everybody. Okay? Number seven. This one is my favorite because this resembles the family and this resembles the mom and the dad. And when they get married, they become one. They become one because of God's covenant of marriage. And when they're crisscrossed like this, can anything fit between the mom and the dad? No, they keep their marriage holy and they stay together. So the family is happy and we're honoring God when the mother and father stay together. So this one is we do not commit adultery. Mom and dad, they keep the promises in their marriage. All right, number eight, are you guys ready? Number eight is we do not steal. Let's try it again. We do not steal ever. All right, number nine. This one is we do not lie. We never tell a lie. We always tell the truth. Okay, so let's try it again. We do not lie. Very good. All right, number 10. This one is really fun to do. Are you guys ready? This one is we do not covet. And what coveting means is what's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. So what other people have, we don't grab it and take it for ourselves. That means we're coveting. So what's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. We do not covet, all right? So number 10, our 10 commandment is we do not covet. All right, you guys ready to do them really fast? Okay. You shall have no other God but me. Do not make yourselves any idols. We only worship one God. Two fingers. Three commandments. We believe Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we do not take the Lord's name in vain. All right, number four. It's our pillow, remember? To keep the Sabbath holy. We are supposed to have a day of rest. So we need to rest on our pillow and keep the Sabbath holy. All right, number five. Remember, who do we honor and obey? Our fathers and our mothers. All right, number six is we do not murder. We do not murder. We only give life with everything we do. All right, number seven. Here's our family. We do not commit adultery. Mom and dad, stay together. Do not commit adultery. All right, number eight. We do not steal. Number nine, do not lie. All right, our 10 commandment, we're almost done. Do not covet. 
remember what we say. What's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. We do not covet. All right, now everybody, give yourselves a crisscross pat on the back. You guys did so good. I'm so proud of you. I hope you had fun learning the Ten Commandments. And make sure to tune in next Sunday for another online church experience. And if you guys are comfortable worshiping in person, I cannot wait to see you in our FCM building. It's so exciting we're able to come back together and worship inside our church campus. You guys are loved, and I can't wait to see you next again.